Testing, testing. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and children. It's nice to see the three children over here. You can see they're all wearing the stickers, right? Everyone's wearing the sticker? Okay, and he's got two. He's a big boy, so he needs two stickers. So I'd like to welcome you tonight to Earth Saves Monthly. It's an experiment. It's called Try Vegan. Try it, you'll like it. Well, that's, that's our goal. Do you know that we have a guarantee now? We really went out on a limb. Because some people say, well, I can come and try vegan, but what if I don't like it? So we sat down with a room full of attorneys, and we came up with our guarantee. If you are not willing, if you're not happy with the food, and you think that the entertainment or the, um, the educational material is not interesting or informative, um, we will get you your choice of a Happy Meal or a Whopper with all the fixings. So, at the end of the night, think, do I really want that Whopper? <clears throat> but seriously, folks. On behalf of Chef Brooke Katz, right there in the kitchen, and your hostess, yeah, hey Brooke, this is for you. Yeah. People like healthy vegan food, I wonder why. I know I do. Can't get enough of it. And the good news is, even if you get enough, or even more than enough, it has a kind of a magical quality of balancing your body in different ways. Um, some people are looking to lose weight, others are looking to detox, other people want more energy, and basically the healthy vegan diet does it all. You know, because real simply put, it doesn't get in the way of your body doing what it naturally does. It's naturally designed to work effectively, to last for 60, 70, 80, 100 years or more. And most of the troubles that we're having today, more than ever before, is are caused by very poor dietary choices. And it's not just us, it's not just an individual who says, you know what, I don't want to eat the, the foods that were meant for me, like vegetables and fruits and nuts and grain. It's a certain collaboration between industries and governments that allow schools to serve kids unhealthy food. How does that happen? How can a school justify serving food to kids that diminishes their academic performance, encourages all kinds of disorders like ADH, ADHD, and all these other things, gets them all onto psychiatric medications when they're five and seven years old. <clears throat> and that's the law. Well, tonight,